it's it's hard to get them to uh, do anything. That well, uh, you know, I think an interviewer uh, at first, you know, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't imagine why they were asking me and not. I never do. I right. just never try to be. In That's a certain kind of interview. A district is really. A, a personality actor, he's striving to be almost what they are, and mm -hmm. rather than yeah. extract the information. Testing his mic. Yeah. Is that what you're doing? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. No, nine. this is a lead-in film. Her listening to you. Cut, cut away with my. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, you well, as far as Cheech and Chong are concerned, uh, uh, most of the time, the best thing to do is to stay out of their way. Doesn't matter where they are or who they're with. It's just most of it is off the wall and not coming from where they are. How long is this? Up to speed. Yeah. Lewis, the producer of the Rocky Horror Show, which is just having still phenomenal success around the country, and now uh, you are for the first time not only uh, you're producing, but for the first time you are now directing. First time. First yes, time. Up in Smoke. Is there any comparison at all between Rocky and Up in Smoke? Other than their films, there's both films, there's no comparison whatsoever. Uh, the Rocky Horror film is a, uh, which is called a cult film, but it won't be after another four or five months. I think the film will really play as broad as uh, International Velvet from the way that it's building. Um, Up in Smoke is, uh, is will play to a broad audience right off, I believe. Uh, it won't, uh, we won't need that building time. Was there ever a time when you were worried about the rating that Up in Smoke would get? No, we always uh, were pretty sure that it was going to be an R. I did appeal it. Uh, only because the uh, Los Angeles board said they liked the film so much and also they said that New York had been overturning a lot of uh, the decisions they had come up with to go ahead and appeal, so I did, and only one person changed their mind. And, and the other board members were surprised at that. You were wanting it, a PG? Well, it's not so much that I wanted a PG. It's nice to have it, uh, but I think it is an R film uh, under the rating code. I, I believe that... Uh, uh, people under 17 should go with their uh, parents. You know, I'd like to see all those parents go. No, of course, uh, there will be many critics, I'm sure, and there will be people who see the film and will come out, and maybe they, they've enjoyed it, and they'll say, yeah, I enjoyed it. But I'm sure there are many people who are going to say, hey, look, this is a glorification of the use of drugs, and they only show the euphoria, and they don't show the reality of the tragedy of drug abuse and so forth. Uh, wh what do you have to say to those people? Well, it is, in fact, a comedy, so that's the side that we would show. I mean, if we were making a drama, we would show the tragic part of it, but we're making a comedy. And it's not to say, it's like you take anything. If you show, if you take a, uh, a marriage and you're doing a comedy, you'll show that part of it. But I mean, there are some tragic parts of marriages also, you know, which are only shown in dramas. Lou, how many times were you turned down before you could get people really interested in this film because of its subject matter? Uh, it's not the amount of time, uh, times, it's uh, the amount of years, really. Uh, it's been five or six years ago since we, five or six years since we started thinking about making a film. But ironically, the person who finally said yes is the first person that I spoke to. He's at a different company. His name is David Picker. He was at United Artists at the time, and then he was at Paramount. But it's been six years uh, since we started thinking about making a film. But it wasn't those kind of turndowns where no, it's not the time to make that kind of film. Or no, we just sort of went on our way and just continued. It's you know, it wasn't a we've got to make a film. We knew there would be a time to make it. And we were ready to wait for it. The fact that you were so successful with Rocky Horror did that help you get people to? I don't look think at so. Um, if anything, uh, maybe the success that I've had throughout the music business or with other films might have validated some of the things that I told them about this film, but uh, the success of one film doesn't necessarily give you the total financial backing for another film. It might get you a job as a director or as an actor, but it, it won't, uh, it doesn't cause a film to be made. But we made this on our own. I actually uh, financed the film.
for... That's one way to get around it. About one and a half million, is that right? It's about a million five, yeah. Yeah. Lou, very nice talking with you okay. today. Okay, nice to talk Thanks to you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Bob. Good luck to you with Thank you very much. Smoke. Okay.